Hello, po. How much are you watermelons? Melon. Yes, po. Yes? Yes. Melon. No, watermelon. Huh? Yeah. Uh, 300. 300? What about the small one? Po. Magano po, papaya? Okay, can I have one? Dalawa, two? Two. Two na lang. Two na lang. Yes, thank you po. And how much are tomatoes per kilo? Hello po. Good noon. Hello po. Opo. Hi ma'am. Do you have now nuts? Nuts? Yeah. Peanuts? Peanuts? Yeah. No, not these ones. The no more. no more. What about popcorn? More also. What about peanut butter? Yeah, we have. How much? Sure. Yeah, how much? One. How much? How much? Okay, bro. Thank you. Thank you, bro. So when are the peanuts coming? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's coming next week. All right, Nalang. Thank you. Have a happy Sabbath. Thank you. All right. Hello. hello. Hello, how are you? Well, hello? Hot. Thank you. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Nako. Oh, life is busy. I'm here in the Philippines doing my studies at IS, and I've just come from the market to do my weekend routine shopping. I've been busy throughout the week doing assignments, writing my papers, turning in term papers and attending classes. But I find that I have to slow down as the Sabbath approaches. I remember the words of Jesus Christ. That is, it was in the days of Noah. People will be busy, busy studying, busy buying and selling and going to marketplaces busy marrying and giving in marriage, eating and drinking. But in all this busyness, we need to take time and rest and be with the Lord. We need to take time and remember that He is coming soon and very soon. Jesus warns us, as we see the signs of the times fulfilling around us, that no matter how much busy we are with the routine days of life, let's not, get, let's not forget to prepare for His soon coming. And therefore I thank God for the Sabbath as the Sabbath is about to draw nigh, push away the busyness and take time to be with the Lord. Take time to sit at His feet and, his, and be blessed throughout the Sabbath. Thank you for watching. More is going to come. God bless you.